And now, please welcome an idea from a change maker, Julia Olson, founder and executive director of Our Children's Trust. Imagine yourself in childhood with your whole life before you. You can't vote, you have no money of your own, and the New York Times reporting on climate tells you that your world is getting hotter and catastrophic tipping points are looming on the horizon. Breathing in smoky air and evacuating floodwaters foreshadows what's to come. Your government's choices are fueling a heating planet and you will be the most harmed by those decisions over which you have no control. The climate crisis is a byproduct of what we prioritize. Today, our system of laws centers adults and short-term economic interests. Meanwhile, 74 million children have no vote and no economic power. Nine years ago, 21 youth filed Juliana versus the United States, a first of its kind constitutional climate lawsuit. As they persist for the right to put the US fossil fuel policies on trial, those policies made us the top producer of oil and gas globally. Last month, we saw the single largest week of oil pumping in history. The founders of our country built our constitutional democracy precisely for this kind of moment. So we'd have the courts to interpret the constitution and enforce our rights when moneyed interests wield government power at the expense of human life and safety. What if we understood that children's fundamental rights to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness included the right to a safe climate, rights that the electorate could not vote away? Government policies would be measured against children's fundamental rights for their constitutionality, rather than a single politician's electability. This is why at Our Children's Trust, we are reclaiming children's rights to life, safety, and an opportunity for prosperity, rights that cannot be secured without a livable climate. In Held versus State of Montana, 16 young Montanans won after an historic climate trial and fossil fuel projects in Montana will now be measured against the rights of the youth, where the court found that every additional ton of climate pollution is exacerbating their constitutional injuries. In Navahine versus Hawaii Department of Transportation, 13 youth from across the islands also won their climate rights. This time though, through a remarkable court-ordered settlement agreement where they are working hand in hand now with their government to get to a zero emissions transportation sector by 2045. We just argued on behalf of seven youth in the Utah Supreme Court against more state law and date fossil fuel development. That was the first US high court to consider the right to life of living children. As temperatures rise and we fight for the longevity of our constitutional democracy, there is a lot of fear among our youth. But this could be one of the greatest mobilizing moments in our history and a generational democracy reboot. If every young person sees that as adults, we will stand up with them for their fundamental climate rights and courts will listen. Thank you. Please join us in the lobby for a 15-minute break with coffee and refreshments. Dr. 